Hello, welcome to another revision video from uh, High Tunstall College of Science, aka GCSE PE. So this next one is on levers, planes and axes. Now we're going to start with levers. Um, what you need to know is that there are three main types of lever. We've got first class, second class and third class. First class lever, here's an example, it is a football throwing. For the first class lever, the fulcrum is in the middle, which is our elbow. The effort is at one end, which is the tricep, and then the load is an example. A football throwing would be the football itself. A second class lever, the load itself is in the middle. The effort in this instance, and it's when you stand on your toes is the easiest way to remember a second class lever. The effort is generated by the gastrocnemius, and the fulcrum is actually the ball of your foot. Most common one used in sporting activities is your third class lever, and that is where we have the fulcrum at one end, which is your, here we go, which is your elbow. We've got your effort in the middle, which is your bicep, and we've got the load in your hand. Now you also need to know what mechanical advantage is. Now mechanical advantage is where basically the effort is closer to the fulcrum than the effort to the resistance, which means you can generate fast, powerful movements using a third class lever. That is why, for example, that you can generate more power when hitting an object with something like a baseball bat or a tennis racket or a golf club than you could with your hand because you are lengthening that distance between the effort and the resistance than the fulcrum and the effort. Okay, so that is levers. Moving on to planes and axes. Where that I remember this is Simon teaches Frank swimming to lifeguard. So those are the different planes and axes that work together that work together so firstly the sagittal plane all right and the transverse axes work together and that is movements that are forwards and backwards so that is flexion and extension we have got frank swimming so frontal plane and sagittal axes that is for abduction and adduction so when you move side to side so something like a straddle jump or a star jump final what is transverse and longitudinal which is where you spin 360 degrees transverse plane and longitudinal axes so things when you do like a spinning ice skating or a 360 degree turn uh, when you're skiing or snowboarding or on a trampoline that would be movement through the transverse plane and the longitudinal axes try and remember the practical examples for those try and get the correct plane with the correct axes and the different movements that are involved in those and you won't be far wrong so that was levers planes and axes two easy ways to remember them for the levers remember the part that's in the middle by one two three fre first class lever fulcrum in the middle second class lever resistance in the middle third class lever the effort is in the middle and for the planes simon teaches sagittal transverse frank swimming frontal sagittal two lifeguard transverse longitudinal thank you